Uh, hello, this is the uh, second sort of portfolio piece I worked on um, that I wanted to show off. Um, it's very short, very unrefined. I only spent about four days putting this together. Um, but I'm just going to talk through what it was, what I did, different things like that, especially because, um, because of user error. I can't package this project up so that you can play it yourself. Um, so right off the bat, the controls, um, I was not intending to do this. There was supposed to be a story, but because both of my good microphones crapped out at the same time, uh, I was unable to record custom audio that I wanted to use to sort of tutorialize the player and have some sort of story that actually went through this, like, two-minute little scene. Um, but here we are. Uh, so, movement, interact, slow time, which if you hold the right mouse button, you can see everything slows down, let go, it's back to normal, and then shift and crouch will do a little bit in a second. Um, the F to interact is sort of a joke. What you'll be able to see is that is my foot that you can see flashing up on screen. Uh, I had a custom kick animation that I actually had to play at double speed because normal speed was way too slow. Um, but now it's actually kind of hard to tell what exactly this is when you hit F. So it's sort of a joke is like, oh, interact with this door to open it, and then you just kick it open. Um... And then it gives you, oh yes, actually it's F to kick and E to interact. And then it gives you the rest of your controls. Um, so you can... And now at this point, once players know that they can kick, they might be inclined to kick this door, which has a nice little launch. Uh, coming out here, you were supposed to discover that things are not what they seem, and your house is actually inside of this little facility thing. Um... But this is where the player was meant to sort of experiment with the movement mechanics. So you can sprint, uh, you can crouch. Uh, if you sprint and crouch, you'll slide. Um, and then you can also wall run. Oh, you can double jump as well in whatever direction you like. But you can actually, if you hold whatever side the wall is on, so it's on my right side. So if I hold D while I'm against the wall, I'll actually run on the wall. And it's actually a pretty robust system. It accounts for angles and me being able to switch to a different wall without falling down. Um, I can actually turn around and hit A and I will start running the other direction. Um, if I let go of W, you know, I fall down off the wall. Um, but can I, I can't wall run backwards, I don't think. No. Uh, <laughs> although that would be pretty easy to implement. So this is just sort of meant to show the player, you know, give the player a chance to experiment with their movement before they get into the next level, which, uh, having connected levels is nothing I'd done before, so, uh, it is pretty simply done, just interact equal, or, you know, interact leads to open map 2, um, but we'll go ahead and do that, and it froze. Oh, there we go, so it's loading. So you can see right off the bat, there's an AI guy that ran off. Um, I do have functioning AI. They're pretty simplistic. Uh, it took me a while to get them working. I haven't really worked with AI before. Um, I've worked with them enough to know how to make a nav mesh, and that's about it. <laughs> um, he was intended to stay where he was, but I needed to create a new kind of AI or something for that. Um, so he just runs off, but he was intended to be standing about here so that he's you know right in front of this conveniently placed gas can that has the kick button in front of it so that you can kick things and uh, if you kick them into people it will damage them and it says kill to heal uh, your health bars in the lower left it's that red bar um, and something I would like to fix given more time is this um, as it turns out it actually well if I hit it you can see it damages me that's because it just set up to, on a hit event, it just applies damage equal to its mass. Um, and if you're lucky enough to only get hit once, you survive like I did. Um, but usually it hits you a bunch of times. Um, and then we come over here and there's uh, a bunch of AI that should be running around, but they've all seemingly gotten stuck over there. Uh, because they're trying to reach a point that's outside of the bounds of these walls. 
but is still in the nav mesh and is still part of the environmental query, so we'll go ahead and try and get a couple of them to aggro to me. Uh, there we go. Uh, and so they will... They'll shoot at me, they'll chase me. Um, it's going to look kind of wonky because they're all doing it at the same time. Uh, come on, sir. Uh, but yeah, and you can... You can kick them, it doesn't really do anything at the moment, but if you kill them... I think I ran into a gas canister there. Um, <laughs> if you kill them, it does heal you. And the shotgun is actually pretty accurate. It shoots 12 individual... It's 12 line traces, but they're spread out um, with a tendency to cluster towards the middle. So it's actually a fairly realistic approximation of a shotgun, although given another week, I would like to switch it to spawning actual projectiles so that the player has an opportunity to sort of slow time and try and dodge things where... You know, if you're in the air, and then you can use your double jump to try and evade projectiles. Um, so, that's the sort of idea. Um, and so this is just meant to be a small little area that sort of gives you a chance to experiment with the combat before we move on to our final area, which... Uh, nav mesh needs to be rebuilt. I don't know what that error is. I don't know. That, again, that's something else. Given another week, I want to figure out like what these errors are because when I play this in the editor, um, the level usually works out just fine. So it, this is not a constant error that occurs. So I'm not sure why I'm getting this. Um, but in the meantime, the nav mesh is just going to not function. Uh... Uh, so these guys don't run around like they should, but they are supposed to run around, and there are... I have environmental queries going on. Oops, I killed myself again. Um, I have environmental queries going on, so there are points of interest that they will gravitate towards um, uh, in their navigation, except for these guys up on the top of these little things on the crates here that just... Uh, just just run around on top of the crates and then just kind of get stuck up here. And then currently it's set to just play placeholder sound uh, and exit out of the editor. Um, uh, because, again, I didn't have custom audio to put there for sort of congratulating the player on getting through. Um... And uh, I was going to do something a little bit more intensive for the quitting the game, like a, just a fade to black or something, but um, it was getting late when I was at that part finishing it off, and I so I just threw in the like placeholder effect of, here's the sound, quit game. Um, but then, um, you know, my audio broke down, and so I just sort of made that the ending, and then I can't package it either, so it really didn't make a whole lot of sense to put in all that stuff for the player. Um, so I know that was super short, um, but that was just a little look at me messing around with trying to get some AI, some movement mechanics, um, that sort of thing, and just trying to create a little bit of a space for the player to mess around with if we... Oops, sorry for that shotgun blast. Uh, actually, these doors are all unlocked. You can just run through. You don't actually have to <laughs> do anything. Um, so if we... Uh, kind of come through. Yeah, you can see they're all kind of running around, except they've all... I don't know why they all went to that point. It's random. They're not supposed to all go to the same point. They they do randomly uh, choose where they're supposed to go, so it's just sort of unlucky that they've done that. Um, but just coming around here, this was meant to just be like our first sort of real arena for the player to mess around with. As you can see, there's a lot of gas cans placed about for the player to kick, and there's, you know, some interesting geometry with the crates and to provide some cover and uh, and something for you to, you know, interact with while run off of. Uh, and that sort of thing. Axe 
access. Uh, yes. So, um, thank you for watching, if you did. Um, I know there wasn't a whole lot to go over, uh, but I still appreciate it if you watched. And um, have a good day.